with the My Files app, you can manage and maneuver files of all types. Transfer files to and from local storage, cloud accounts, and even network-connected storage. Recent Files has your most recently opened files at the ready. Categories consists of folders holding your images, videos, audio, documents, downloads, and installation files. Under Storage, you'll find internal storage or external storage like flash drives and SD cards if they are attached to the device. Trash contains all your recently discarded items and Analyze Storage shares detailed insights so you can better allocate your files. It's super easy to open, move, and organize files. Let's take a look. First, navigate to a file and tap on it to choose an app to open it once or permanently. Long tap for a list of options that will help you organize your files in a snap. From here, move or copy your file by tapping the option you want. Navigating to another location. And then tapping to confirm the destination path. You can also share and delete. Some additional features give you even more control over storing your files. Rename your file to change up the title. Compress is helpful when you have a group of files to post to a file sharing service, for instance. Add to home screen creates a shortcut. And try move to secure folder for extra security. You can open in new window to open your file in the appropriate app in a split screen view. To close this new window, swipe up from the middle bar. You can find everything that lives in your Galaxy in the My Files app under Storage. There are several components that make up your total storage. Internal, and also external if you're connected to an SD or flash drive. Cloud Storage, OneDrive and Google Drive in particular. And also Network, File Server, Storage. Here's a quick tour. Local folders containing your photos, videos, music, and more make up your internal storage. Save your files to the cloud with OneDrive and Google Drive. They'll be close by without taking up space on your phone. You can also back up files to your cloud account or move them from the cloud to your Galaxy. With network storage, you can configure access to a network attached storage device, like a home media server. Move files to and from the phone or as an intermediary between cloud accounts or network storage. Sending files to trash gets them out of plain view. Deleting them for good is what frees up space. And this takes a little more than just tapping the trash can icon. Here's a tip. Long press to select a file. Select more files if you want. Tap delete. And then delete again to permanently remove. And you can do this anytime. If you don't, your Galaxy will do it for you in 30 days. With Analyze Storage, you'll find an in-depth breakdown of your file allocation under Internal Storage it shows which files are taking up the most space. Tap on any of the individual categories. Press and hold to select a file, and then choose from the options below to take action. It's best to delete installation files and downloaded documents, as those bulky common files take up a lot of room. Also, you can go right into apps from My Files and uninstall them from there. That way, you don't have to move around your device to different menus. Take the tedious out of file management with the My Files app 